gave us power. The cross gave us everything. Bwana sifiwe. That is the logo that we are identified with. Bwana sifiwe. It is symbolic and great sacrifice for us who are in Christianity. Those who understand this thing. Bwana sifiwe. Those who have got that knowledge revealed unto them what happened at the cross. And how they are supposed to live now. Bwana sifiwe. So, basically at the cross, it shows us how we are supposed now to walk in Christ and with Christ. Bwana sifiwe. So at the cross, at the cross is where we first saw everything. Bwana sifiwe. We saw our sins taken away. We saw poverty dying out of our systems. We received the divine health. We received power. We received strength. Bwana sifiwe. The ability to effect change at the cross. Bwana sifiwe. That is where change happened. That is where ultimate transformation happened. Everything was laid on Jesus Christ. And we were given the newness of life now. Bwana sifiwe. So pastor has been handling series on now. Uh, the finished work at the cross and uh, uh, I'll uh, just go through some of the things that uh, he's been talking about and how significant the cross is, is unto us now one as if you, the power at the cross the power of the cross now to us who are Christians one as if you Jesus Christ himself said in Matthew 16.24 that if anyone desires to come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me one as if you, that is the symbol the symbol one of the symbols of our christianity one as if you, it's one of the things that when we are being brought to that revelation knowledge and know what happened there we will not just walk with the cross like other people walk with it no but you know that the thing that happened there was of much value than that the, than that just the mere crucifix it comes now with revelation and understanding what the cross did to you what it did to me what it did to any other believer who has received this knowledge one as if you it's all about bearing responsibility now it's all about bearing sacrifice it's all about about willing good for somebody else it's all about ensuring that that person who is around you gets to know how good, how valuable, how powerful that cross is unto us who believe. One as if you. So it is not about the symbolic thing, no. Christianity is purely spiritual. One as if you. It's purely spiritual. Purely, purely spiritual. It's not about the thing. It's purely spiritual. You enter into God, into that life. Live it like he now purposed you to live. Like he now called you. Now not according to your purpose. You live. You deny yourself. But now you now carry his purpose now. You are called according to his purpose. Pur pur purpose. Paul says in Romans chapter, verse chapter 8. When as if you are called according to his purpose now. You live the things that you value so much and look at the things that are only in line with the will of God. One as if you at the cross we were given that power. The cross it has that power to change things in our lives, to change things in the environment, to change circumstances. One as if you when we get that knowledge, our lives cannot remain the same. Our conversations cannot remain the same. Our businesses cannot remain the same. One as if you, our church cannot remain the same. The county cannot remain like it is. There will be a sure change because there will be manifestations now when it becomes real that the cross is where we first saw the light and the burdens were rolled away, away from us, away from us. They were written off. They are not there. When God looks at your past, he doesn't see them. One as if you, he sees the new you now. That is what God sees. He sees light. When he sees you, he sees his image here on earth. One as if you, the newness of life. Old is gone. One as if you, and the new, the new has now come. One as if you. 
So it calls for someone to be thoroughly equipped. One as he. That's why these offices were given to the church teachers, pastors, apostles, evangelists for the equipping of saints. Someone must be taught. One as if you people only know that Jesus Christ died on the cross. They don't know what now that cross meant. They think it's a wood no. When he was crucified there, we were crucified with him. One as if you our sins, everything was laid on him. Everything was laid on him. Everything of the defeated world was laid on him. Everything, everything that you can think of that is not consistent with the word of God was now laid, laid on him. One as if you and after that he resurrected, gave us victory. So Paul says in Corinthians, Second Corinthians, chapter thirteen, from verse eleven. Verse eleven. From verse eleven to fourteen. Finally, brethren. Finally, brethren, farewell. Become complete. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with holy kiss. All the saints greet you. Then verse 14. I think this is common. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. One as if you be complete in him. One as if you finally brethren, farewell. When you read that whole chapter, it talks about now this grace that he summarizes with down there. One as if you it talks about the grace, the grace that now applies to us now. One as if you at the cross, all these things that happens was due to the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. One as if you even though we were poor, even though how bad we were, he still he still saw us as part of the mission that he came for. One as if you and he caused life to be given back to us again, to be redeemed back. One as if you he bought us at the cross. One as if you so we are now perfected. He says, be complete, be perfected, be complete, be of good comfort. Be of one mind and live in peace. And the love of God and peace will be with you. It means being complete in every part of your life. One as if you be complete in every part of your life. Be complete. Be perfected. This is one of the will, the will of our Father, perfect will of God. You be perfect. You be complete in Him. One as if you you want to know His purpose now concerning you here on earth. You be perfect in Him. Be complete in Him. Being perfect means that there is no sickness in you. Being perfect means that there is no anxiety. There is no there is no pain in you. There is no stress. There is no distress. Nothing can suppress you. Nothing can inhibit your progress. One as if you nothing can steal away peace from you. You are perfect. You are perfected by him. You are complete now in him. That is what happened at the cross. We were perfected. We were perfected. The finished work at the cross. We are that complete product now. Made perfect. Completed. Complete in him. One as if you. So he tells us to be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace, the peace of God. And the God of love and the honor of love and peace will be with you all. If you are of one mind, if you are perfected by his word and you know his
his perfect will concerning you and if you are if you are if you are of one one mind too then you will live that kind of life that you are now called to bwana asifiwe that is the grace of the lord now it delivers these things to you bwana asifiwe it is indescribable like bwana asifiwe said you can describe it using very many things but it still points toward it the grace of our lord jesus christ the grace of our lord jesus christ bwana asifiwe it is his grace through that we received salvation we were saved by his grace we were healed by his grace we received the sight and everything was rolled away from us bwana asifiwe you must know that that is what god sees when he sees you the only way is to cultivate that habit of having unquenchable thirst of knowing these truths that are hid in this word studying the word of god cultivating these habits studying the word of god fellowship giving all these things will enable to enjoy the things that are in this grace of our lord jesus christ bwana sifiwe why is grace so important what is it what does it mean to us as christians what is what nini what is it what does it why is it so important to us now bwana sifiwe so you see when you read in second corinthians chapter 8 now second corinthians chapter 8 Second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 verse 9 yes for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor that through his poverty you might become rich Bwana asifiwe. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that through that that though he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor that you through his poverty might become rich. The key word here is now for your sakes. Bwana asifiwe. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son and the only begotten son that whoever now believes unto him remember jesus christ died for all of us the whole world but the chosen few who believe in him are the ones who will enjoy these things bwana sifiwe now for your sex is the key word for your sex for my sake he became poor for my sex he did all the things that he did for my sake for your sake he became poor for your sake he did all these things because of me and because of you he gave he gave up all the priorities that he could enjoy to come here and live on earth like we lived one as if we for our sakes remember he is god and he suffered on for our sake Bwana asifiwe for our sake he suffered on the cross for our sake He died on the cross because of you and me Bwana asifiwe so that you do not have to cry anymore so that you do not have to beg anymore so that you do not have to suffer anymore so that you don't have to any carry any kind of baggage any kind of kind of sickness and disease in your life anymore for your sex he became poor he became sick he he endured the pain bwana asifiwe that you might enjoy the glorious life of god now bwana asifiwe through his poverty that you might be rich through his poverty at the cross all these things happened all these things that are laid here that I'm speaking of happened there for my sake and for your sake 
Bwana asijue. That is the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich he left all those things there. Came here on earth. Went through all the things that he went through till he died. A very shameful death. Bwana asijue. He carried even our shame at the cross for our sake. Bwana asijue. If you read uh, the book that uh, we were studying uh, last year, from early last year, The Making of a King, there is a chapter that talks about the principle of substitution. Principle of substitution. For your sake, Bwana asijue. He took your position. Remember he was blameless. Remember he was not sin. Remember he was without pain. He was without shame. But all these things were on us. He substituted all those things for our sake. The principle of substitution. He took all those all these things away from us. Bwana sifiwe. Principle of substitution. Principle of substitution. That we might take his place now. So you must wake up saying that I am rich, I am blessed, I am healthy. I am strong, I am powerful. I'll have a good day at work. I'll be super productive. Bwana asifiwe. I'll have encounters that will cause me to grow more. Bwana asifiwe. It changes your mentality when you realize that he did all these things for your sake. It changes how you think. It changes your conversations. It changes what you view. It changes everything. And by so doing, you are able not to change the environment bwana asifiwe great commission can be done through various avenues various avenues when people see that transformation in you they will yearn to know the ingredients that you're actually using bwana asifiwe the things that you're using the the, the 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 thing that is causing you to be transformed to live that kind of life Bwana sifiwe even if things are hard but you are enjoying life. You see? Huh? So for our sake for our sake he did all these things. He did all these things. He went through all these things for our sake. That is now the power of the cross. The power of the cross to those who believe. Bwana sifiwe So in that whole chapter it is clear chapter 12 it is clear in chapter 8 it is so clear that the principle of grace applies to us even now those who believe yes he died as a Jew but he died for the whole world you see he died for the whole world he died for the whole world and those who believe and that death at the cross all of them have to enjoy the glorious life that we are called into bwana asifiwe it changes everything in your life your conversations bwana asifiwe it changes you you become bold timid timidity leaves you bwana asifiwe the spirit of timidity dies out of you instantly the moment this truth comes into reality in you Bwana if you become bold you become more than a conqueror like Paul says Bwana if you nothing can be able to stop you from enjoying anything because now you sit in a position of dominion position of authority Bwana if you so he bore all our sins on the cross that all of us who believe be born into righteousness to have that trust standing with our father to be reconciled back to our father to have a connection a continuous fellowship with him now bwana asifiwe we are born into righteousness through that the moment you believe that you are now established into that fatherhood again so it is so amazing it's big it's big i know it can be it can take different dimensions when you think about it but now think about the grace that he went through all these things that we might live a glorious life bwana 
as if you the grace of our Lord Jesus that is his grace the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ his blood and the cross was so powerful divine able to change reach everyone and change them those who believe in him one as if you it liberates those who are in any kind of captivity those who are in any kind of addiction it breaks all those things it liberates them one as if you so this is now the gospel this is what people are supposed to be told now one as if you in the great commission you are supposed to know they are supposed to know that at the cross all the burdens were rolled away one as if you when you read Isaiah 53 54 read first Peter you still get the same thing going through everything was laid on him that we might we would receive help peace everything one as if you we were healed permanently healed salvation came in all dimensions of your life salvation means that you are rich now you are wealthy you are full of health you are full of peace full of love all these things you were saved from the defeated man the defeated nature and brought into this glorious life of god one as if you so that is what us as believers we ought to meditate on we ought to think about it when you think about the finished work at the cross what was finished what what ilikuwa ni nini limalizika pale msalabani the transformation that took place the principle of substitution what happened for our sake bwana sifie the image that we now bear post resurrection of jesus christ we must see that everything was laid unto him and now the life that we live after that is a supernatural life marvelous life bwana sifie let us pray lord we are grateful this evening for your word thank you for your goodness thank you for your grace lord we are rich we are blessed lord we are more than conquerors we are prosperous we are bold and lord at the cross you say it is finished and lord we stand boldly and proclaim that lord you give us everything that we need and we refuse to beg we refuse to stoop low we refuse to limit our thoughts now we refuse to be limited by the environment we refuse to be limited by the conversations around us lord your power is unlimited unto us and lord there are possibilities for us each and every day positive outcomes in the things that we do lord we are full of joy peace love health and all good things that lord you gave us freely when you resurrected from the dead there is none like you There is none like you, O oh God. Lord, we refuse now to settle for less. There is more, more in you. There is more in you, the word says, so that our sufficiency is of you. There is more in you. You are the source of everything. And Lord, you are the substance of all humanity. And Lord, we will set our gaze on you. We set our eyes on you. We set our eyes on the cross and get to, be, to see the kind of life that Lord we've now called us into. as your children there is none like you we bless your name lord these things we believe and so we speak we believe and so we speak we shall not stop speaking we refuse to be quiet we refuse to be weak we refuse to be quiet kings no you've called us kings and lord we decree a thing we declare a thing and lord it gets established in our lives and in the environment in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you for your goodness we thank you for your love Our lives are full of endless possibilities each and every day when we wake up we are happy we are blessed we sing of your hymns because we know that you now have moved now in dwelt us with all goodness we are full of you oh god there is none like you thank you god we bless your name and we thank you these things we pray in Jesus name amen now may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god